all right well hello everyone in this playlist this playlist playlist is going to be dedicated to uh, problem solving yay so we're gonna i'm gonna be going over some example problems some solved example problems in uh, transport phenomena and by transport phenomena i'm being specific about microscopic transport phenomena some of these problems will be taken from various solved examples from various textbooks which i will be listing in the bibliography of each video please keep in mind please keep in mind that i will not be solving any homework problems that should be clear right off the back this is fair game there won't be any solutions to homework problems here for that you have um, you have other sources all right so the total flux let's uh, start off by um, the first fundamental concept one of the one of the main fundamental concepts the flux okay the total flux and uh, by total flux you're, you're gonna have total heat flux okay you're gonna be talking about total heat flux you're gonna be talking about total mass or mole flux all right you're gonna be talking about momentum flux okay these are the fluxes that you're gonna be dealing with in a transport phenomena class momentum heat and mass transfer the three doubles all right the trinity so all right what's the uh it would make our lives a teeny tiny bit easier if we had an idea if we knew what is the meaning of flux okay what do we mean by flux in science and engineering so for in a in the language of transport phenomena flux is just uh transport transport of quantity transport of quantity okay divided by area transport of quantity divided by area and time <clears throat> and by quantity by quantity okay by quantity i ref i'm referring to energy momentum or mass energy momentum or mass transport of momentum heat or mass <clears throat> area of uh, if you divide the transport by the time okay this right here is the rate the rate of transport and once you divide this by area you get flux you get flux okay so the rate of transport per area the rate of transport per unit area that's the idea behind flux okay and now let's talk about what the total flux is going to be composed of the total flux is going to be com composed of a conv convective flux and a molecular flux all right so hold on let me just do clear this out a little bit for you guys okay Ooh, just slap it there all right so convective flux is gonna be due to bulk flow so the rate of transport of a quantity per area due to bulk flow okay <clears throat> when fluid moves it carries energy with it it carries some mass with it it carries some momentum with it okay whenever fluid moves it's it carries the three quantities with it all right it carries mass with it it carries energy with it and it carries momentum with it all right molecular flux okay molecular flux is going to be as you guys have probably guessed it due to interactions at the molecular level due to interactions at the molecular level directions at molecular molecular level and for that we're gonna have three constitutive 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 what's the right pronunciation i'm not sure constitutive laws newton said newton's law of viscosity newton's law of viscosity okay you're gonna have fourier's law for heat conduction fourier excuse me Fourier's law of heat conduction, Fourier's law, and you're gonna have Fick's law for mass transfer for diffusion, Fick's law. So those are the three cons constitutive laws that you're gonna be dealing with. All right. Now, okay. So now we have an idea of what the total flux is composed of. All right. Now let's move on towards our general property balance. You've already taken. I'm assuming that you've already taken a mass and energy balance class, so you know that energy is conserved and mass is conserved. And this right here is the uh, balance that we've been writing in that in those classes. This is the balance that we've been uh, used to writing. Okay, and 
accumulation all right accumulation if you have more stuff going in you're gonna have a accumulation if you have more stuff leaving you're gonna have depletion all right that's an intuitive concept concept and at steady state this is gonna be zero so at steady state at steady state this term right here is going to be equal to zero accumulation is going to be equal to zero okay and we're going to be solving a lot of steady state problems and uh, let's see so the input and the output terms excuse me the input and the output terms there are two ways there are two ways in which properties can enter or leave your control volume your system okay the first one being bulk flow okay bulk flow and in order to have bulk flow you need fluid okay you cannot have bulk flow without the uh, in the without the presence of a fluid all right and the next one that you're gonna have is gonna be molecular flux and once again both of these are combined to give you the convective flux to give you the total flux both of these are combined to give you to give you the total flux so we'll be dealing with fluxes because now we're doing balances at the microscopic level we're do doing balances at the microscopic level so you combine these two to get the total flux okay the total flux is going to enter your control volume total flux is going to leave your control volume all right the source minus sink term let's go over that real quick the source minus sink term excuse me sorry in most um in some lectures uh, from and in some textbooks that i've seen this is just rewritten as a net generation term okay so if the source is dominating you have generation and if the sink is dominating you have consumption all right this is just written as a net generation so both of these two terms source and sink are combined excuse me both these terms source and sink are combined to give you the net generation term all right so now we have a idea of how our this general property balance is what is used to derive your equations of change all right using these using this stuff using all of this stuff you will be deriving your equations of change okay i'm not going to go over the derivations of the equations of change and the equations of change are going to be if i were to list them right here they were, they're going to be the first one being the continuity equation continuity equation is just a total mass balance it's just a total mass balance at the microscopic level continuity equation you're going to have momentum equations momentum equations you're going to have your energy equation all right you're going to have your energy equation and these are all equations of change okay for energy and the final one is going to be a species continuity equation for a species okay continuity equation for a single species species continuity equation okay all right and all right so now i just need to go over the uh, hierarchy like um where we're going to start off from and what we're going to build up to the first problems the first set of problems that we're going to see are only going to be dealing with molecular transport so there's only going to be so there's only going to be uh, newton's law of viscosity excuse me there's only going to be newton's law of viscosity sorry sorry my bad my bad so yeah you're just going to be dealing with laws newton's fourier's and fix so those are going to be the three laws and those are going to be the main modes of transport only after that after that as we move on as we move on we're gonna introduce on we're gonna introduce a net generation term all right so and the net generation of energy can be due to a reaction or something like that so if you so this is just a, <clears throat> a build up on your uh, mass and energy balance class and then finally we're gonna deal with problems that have convective transport so we're going to introduce bulk flow in the game all right bulk flow is going to make things a lot more interesting a lot more interesting all right and i hope you guys find these video series helpful and yeah all right thank you very thank you very much for watching guys